back for the Dasa Yeshemi. Just because I last week I said and what the Mishnah Buddha says in the Yeshemi doesn't make sense, but who am I to say? But I found that the that the that the um that the uh the domestic liaison says like me. So says like me. I say like the domestic liaison. And there's no one that knows the Gura better than the Mesek Liezek. The Mesek Liezek is the, the, the biggest authority understanding the, the, the Goen, the Dasa Goen. Well, the Dasa Yeshe Emre Manal, and Gan Bezeh, Yevorech Tamed Al Anei Redishin, Shri Iker HaMetz, Benire De Bezeh, Yamed Anei Redishin, Lezad Zmoil. Vaka, Bechol Yom, Moise Vahoylech, Lezad Yemin. Vaad Loket Tiyo Tamed Banei Shemed Bezad Asmoil, Kmesh Kesavna, Um Poyne Vahoylech, Lezad Yemin. So the way the way the way the Mishnah Brura understood the way the Mishnah Brura understood the the Goan and the Mashal is that you put we always start our candle like this the first night there is one candle two candle three candle four candle and then we always light this way uh, he understood that the uh, Rashal and the, also agree but the first candle you put here and then on that corner why for some reason. Because the 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 the, the Rashal and the Gros say that there's the Ikara Mitzvah. How can you ignore the Ikara Mitzvah? But for some reason, I don't know why he at, at he he thinks that this whichever whichever you lit the first night, that's the Ikara Mitzvah. The other seven candles or six candles are not the Ikara Mitzvah. For some reason, it went into the head of the Mishnah Bruda to think that wh- whichever candle, you know, whichever piece of metal I'm using the first night, piece of glass. That's the Ikira Mitzvah. I don't know why. So the truth what? is, so you're making but next night, what's what's next night response? Let me tell you what I think. What I think, and the, turns out domestically as it learns this way. He what he said, what the, the what the Gon held and the Rashal held is that you have to have the Gemara says you should light the menorah of the and to the to the Rashal and to the Gro, this was very important. The Tefach Hasam Why? The, it could be several reasons. Why did the Gemara say that it has to be that the menorah should be Tefach Hasam Why? Um, could be for three reasons. One is that uh, because if you have a candelabra on your table, no one knows if it's for Hanukkah. Those days didn't have electric lights. So how did you have light in the house? Mm-hmm. You had a candelabra on the table. So how do we know this candelabra is not Lakova dinner? Maybe it's Lakovid latkes. How do we know? Maybe it's Lakova the steak. He has a nice dinner. So he has a nice candelabra on the table. How do you know it's Lakova Hanukkah? So well, who puts a candelabra right next to the door? You put it in the and the and the in the, the, the center of the table, maybe in the side table. But uh, you have the chandelier, you used to have a rope. Also slow down, so a low table. That's also why they did it. These are two reasons. It's Nick. Now, if you say that, I would say that's probably what the Beis Yosef thought. And the difference, the Beis Yosef said, you have to have the candle, has to be betefa chasam al How about if the whole menorah, a little part of the menorah is betefa chasam al And if it's not mamish a tefa, a tefa and a half, I mean, it's not in the middle of the table. Don't we all understand that it's that it's the covet chanak? Good enough. Could be the Grod didn't learn that that's a pshat tefach or something to pesach. He learned either he learned because there was a pesach based in bachutz. So how do they know it belongs to this house? Mm. So it could be that's the reason. I don't want to say that because if that's the reason, then the tefach to pesach is bchal and negev is manazet. So then the whole Grod shit is not negev is manazet. That would be funny that the Grod. So the other thing I think is maybe the Gemara says kedei shiye. That's why we want the mezuzah should be mimin the Hanukkah mezmal. The mezuzah has to be on the doorpost. You can't have and you put it you know a couple inches away. The mezuzah has to be mamish on the doorpost. Mitvaz binich mesuba v'mitzvus. How am I mesuba mitzvus? Because the neir Hanukkah is mimin and the 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 mezuzah is mimin and the neir Hanukkah is betefach and some mechlapesach. If it's already tefachin, now you're going to tell me, oh, but the candle hammer is big. And the piece of metal on this side is is within the. I don't care about your candle. If I have a mezuzah, mezuzah case is huge, very fancy mezuzah case. I bought in Eichler's a uh, huge mezuzah case like this. What do I care with the mezuzah case? Where's the mezuzah? Is your mezuzah betavach zama Good. It's not. It's not good. I don't care what fancy thing you bought in Judaica world or in Eichler's. The same thing the menorah. I bought the menorah for a thousand dollars. It's beautiful menorah. 
and 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 a part of it is betefach hasam mechlapesa. I'm I'm where's your candle? Where's your candle? Is your candle betefach hasam mechlapesa? You're good. So if if so, the pira holds that betefach hasam mechlapesa. That's the iker mitzvah. The iker mitzvah is betefach hasam. He didn't mean we. Which, if you're going like the, if, so in other words, if you have put, if your doorpost is thick, like over here, it's thick enough. Is if your doorpost is, and you may know it's skinny enough door. So he would say, so the the gro would say, do exactly like the mechaber. Now everything is equally tefach So true, the first night I made a bracha on this, next night on this, next night. And I'm going this way. Why would the why would the gra why would the gra have a problem with that? Especially if you're next to the window and there's no tefach hasam mechlapesa. For some reason, it went into the head of the Mishnah Brura that oh, the, the, you look at the menorah. This this is ikra mitzvah. That's not what he meant. What the gra meant was if if the candle if the menorah is very big, if you have uh, it's it's a very big menorah. So now. And there's only one candle that's going to be the Tefak Asamach Lepesa. So then, that's the candle that's called Ikra Mitzvah. Right. And you should always start from that one because the other six or seven or five are only Hidr Mitzvah. That, but if they're all equal distance, do like the Mechabit. You by the window, do like the Mechabit. He never meant. So if you know a Gronik that's doing a little different, that the, those are going like the Minag Agoim. And they do it in a funny way. Tell them they learned the, they learned the gone wrong. I, I, I think um, I think the Mesechaleiz is so right. Uh, it's like it's it's hard to learn otherwise. But he meant the Iker Mitzvahs because he didn't. The, the essential machloikas here is why is do you have to be a tefach asamach lepesach? How critical is tefach asamach lepesach? Tefach tefach and a half. You have a bit. It's, it's all good. According to the Rashal and the Gro. Tefach is some achol pesach. That's ikra mitzvah. Mezuzah mimin, mezuzah, and nechanek mesmoil. So that's ikra mitzvah. He didn't mean to say which one, because last night I said, well, that's it. So therefore, if you if you learn the way I'm learning in the gro, the gro is not such a big difference. It's only if you have a small doorpost and you're doing it by the doorpost. But if you if you're doing it by the window, or you're doing it by the doorpost and you have a menorah that's that's uh, not that big, or the doorpost is big. So then the Rashal and the Machabah hold exactly, the Rashal and the Groh hold exactly the Machabah. There's no, there's no big difference. Now I'm curious to see how Rebbe Labag does it, so I can go argue with him, if he does it differently. Okay, next Simon. But I, I think now we have like a Shnaim Shemar Ba So, um, if if we learn like the the mechaber, the mechaber learns that tefach atama lepesach is not so critical. It's to show that the menorah is not on the table. That's all good. The whole issue is what does it mean? Kol pina shata poina yimin, and uh, and he holds taka. There's a machloek is between the Jews and the Rhine and the Jews in Austria. What you going from left to right or right to left? And we passing like the Jews in the Rhine, like the Marama Rotenberg, You go from left to right. But uh, if you hold like the, the Grand Rashal, the critical point over here uh, the, is, is that you need to be betefach asamuch lepesach. As long as you answer that, that's it. Now you're back to, well, there's no difference between us and the Machabit. But also in the Shita Agra, there's two ways of learning it. The Mishnah Buru's way, which is Atos, or or the the um, Yes, no, the, the uh, not Menchus the uh, huh? No, not the the, the Pirish on the Gro. No, the Mesekaliyas, the Mesekaliyas, the Mesekaliyas is is me Tamide Tamide Hagon. He he's very good. Okay, let's go on the next simon. Adin Achsanoi Bakanake. The truth is Achsanoi Bakanake is very relevant. Like I mentioned yesterday, this 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 uh, this really ruins every Hanukkah party. You're supposed to be home to light, and uh, you see someone's party. They called the party for two o'clock. It didn't start at four o'clock. Already four thirty is the time to light the menorah. What he's supposed to do? You're not supposed to eat before this. So, uh, so dinach sanoi. Okay. 
צימר דוף רישא אין זין דין אכסנוי בחנקה, בואי דל הציפים. אכסנוי שמדליקים עוד לא בבייסי. If a person is in a guest house and they're not lighting for him the menorah in the house, צריך לא ססס פרוטה לבעל הבייס, he has to give a pruta to the balabais, l'shtatef imei b'shemesh shalner chanaka, to become a partner with him in the oil of the chanaka camp. In yesh le pesach pasua, if the person in the guest house has his own door, la'atzma, it's not a lahatik b'pisa, but he has to light at his own door. Av b'shoi sebais, enem yuchel l'shena, even though that house is only a room or a house that he's using to sleep, doesn't matter, even though v'hu aichel l'shokem balabais, doesn't matter. You have your own door going out to Rosh Hashanah Aben. You have to have a menor at your door. The child is eating in his father's house, but he has his own apartment where he sleeps there. He has to have a menor at his door because um, you have to have on your, on, your, on your house. Okay. Agoa says, you have to light it in the place where you eat. That's the minute. It's a little funny that he says because probably there's no machloik. Once you say the bezmanas amadlikimifnimamish, why should someone argue in it? Maybe should do by the door, like the bamfes. Yeah, so, so, no, okay, fine. So, do by the door, but like he's saying. Now that we do Bifnim, so so where which where is the place that I should light the menorah? Where is my house? But Makam Sha'ichal is my house. No, he means the Makam the 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 Yeah, I don't think he means now that you said you you raised a good question. The Minik Chabad does it not not is there a preference to do it by the dining room? Could be he meant in the house, but could be you're right. Could be there's a preference to do it Why? Because the Ramah holds that uh, that uh, where you eat, that's where you live. Like we said yesterday, like um, as I mentioned yesterday, we'll get into it maybe tonight or next week. The Bach, whatever, like. The truth is, it's funny. Once you say that there's no such thing of Pesumanissa to the street, so where should you like the Menorah? Where should you like the Menorah? Wherever you want. You're in a restaurant, light it there. You're in your father's house, your father in law's house. Office. Who cares? In your office? My naf kemina. If you're Pesumanissa, you have to light it. But but you could you could light it wherever you want. You could light it wherever you want. But the, the, getting married with the light in the house. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right, right. But loite ramo mamish. I mean, but where's where do you where do you, where do you where eating? Where do you eat breakfast? Where do you eat lunch? We eating tomorrow at the ganze shail. But bemis, if you don't hold like that ramo, and and you say listen, bisman bisman ashas or even not bisman ashas. By the way, everything that he says in Shulchan Aruch is based on the tour. As we said yesterday, the tour lived in this in the city of Toledo. In Toledo, it seems that the Yidin didn't put the menorahs on the door going out to Rosh Hashanah, but they put it on the door from their house going out to the courtyard. As I said yesterday, the even though the Rajba says that they did it bifnim, and they lived in the same time, but uh, as I said yesterday, they even though they lived the Rajma and the Rush exactly the same time, but uh, they lived in different countries. To us, it's all the Iberian Peninsula today; it's all Spain. But uh, Lapoil, it seems from the history of Divir Ibn Yisrael that uh, what happened when the Jews were expelled forty nine to two. Okay, but in Barcelona there was many pogroms throughout history. Think about the Rajma; his Rebbe was the Ranban. One of the reasons that Ranban left Barcelona because there was a public disputations against the Galop and he won. Once he won, he He's thought in he was in danger because he won the disputation. There'd be very, there'd be baladic and they were insulted. They were humiliated. They, it's like the, till today, there is the hole where there was the disputation. There's like a little plaque saying that this is the place that uh, Ramban had the disputation uh, with the Galochim. 
It's a very fancy building in the middle of the city. Could you imagine that it was uh, that uh, that it was against uh, the Ramban? There was a team of galoch, and uh, with this unbelievable kedusha brilliance, he they had a year that was helping. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and still and all with the mishuma and all the information I had, the Ramban like walking between the raindrops. If you said one word against Christianity, you would lose your head on the spot. So with Berev Pichusa, Kedushasa, he was able to defend the Torah and not once insult him and win the disputation. It was like... In front of the king. It was in front of the king and he could have lost his life in a second. They say one word wrong. On the other hand, he stood strong. And it's like Jews never won. It never happened in the 2,000 years of history that Jews won. They didn't win. They always lost. Yeah, there was a there the old Jews always, the Israel always avoided disputations right. because it was a foregone conclusion that they're gonna lose. Could you imagine that Ramban won? It was it was something they, they didn't expect such a thing that the Ramban should win. It's written it up. Uh, it's, written up. It's, written. it's unbelievable. But uh but but in, in Barcelona Jews did suffer throughout the you know, it was a very complicated the problem was that the Jews were always a, a the private the, the, the cash cow for the king was always the Jews. So it always made a dynamic that the Jews were like, so 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 they had certain privileges. So Kilo, the king, is going to protect them because of the money they give. But Lidach, then there was an unbelievable amount of resentment from the public. It was like, it was set up for the Jews in such a bad way that there was no way to ever come out alive. Um, but so it, the, according to Dibri Meisrael in Barcelona, the Jews had plenty of very, very difficult times. LMI, why did the Jews stay there? Because it was uh, it was a capital of business. And uh, yeah. we're going to go. Where are they going to go? Okay. I mean, yeah, you can go live in the middle of a desert, but well, what are you going to eat? What are you going to do? You can make a living. So even though they suffered tremendously until they finally were expelled, but uh, in other places, in other kingdoms in, in Spain, Eden did live in, in much, much better conditions. As well, uh, Jews. Uh, the more the south of Spain were, were the the the, the Nazism went from the north to the south, like with the um, where where the 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 south of the uh, the countries that were in the south of the Iberian Peninsula were more um, were more Muslim, and even anyway. So bottom line is Toledo is more towards the south. Huh? Come back to Hanukkah. But now we're coming back to Hanukkah. So <laughs> the, whenever. Whenever the Machabe talks, he's talking, he's not talking what's going on in Tzfas. He's just quoting the Tur. The Tur is talking what's going on in Toledo. I'm just making it clear because the, 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 when the Ramot talks, he's talking about the Yidn and Kruke, what the Yidn and Krakow are doing in the 16th century. The Machabe is not talking about the Chaber lived in Yugoslavia and then he lived in Tzfas. The, he's not talking about what's going on in Yugoslavia, and he's not going. Uh, we're talking what's going on in Svas. He's just a kitzer of the tour. Right. The tour is talking about what's going on in Toledo, Bismano. It's just important to understand. That's why the 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 Mahabir is talking about Bisman that the Jews were lighting the menorah, a pesach beisem bechutz, even though if it was not the bechutz like Toisvus, lirishus eramos lirichotze. So then, what's the difference? That uh, w- w- what's the difference that uh, the eating in your father's house, that eating breakfast, lunch, and supper in your father's house? But you had your Jew, you have a house. The people see a mezuzah. Where's the Hanukkah menorah? Here's the mezuzah. Where's the menorah? You went on vacation, went to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, 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 it's a shad. So, uh, so, 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 so and, and even but why would you say the Makam Shaikhil is this place? Why would you say the Makam Shaikhil? What's why is Makam Achila more important than Makam Shina? When the Gemara says you have to light on your door, you have to light at your door. What's the difference between Makam Achila and Makam Shina? You have two houses, one where you eat, one where you sleep. The Gemara Tachizak that if you have even the one house, one door here, one door here, you have to do both. So you have to do both. That's what the Machab is talking about. The Ramah, the Ramah says, oh, we're doing it with him. So, what do you mean? There's no chashad. So, but, so the, 
the Ramok hooked up this thing that it has to be the Mokim Achila. Okay, let's go to the Mishnah Brura. The 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 bochrim the tamidim which are the the learning and they're not at home, right? The world zokt. The ways the world, Rabbi Talansky. The heim, if you live if you're living at home, lo diyadu drochi. The heim loy, if you're not if you go away from the house, then yadu drochi. That's why you should go to yeshiva and should be going to the kaiv toyda. If he's staying in a house and he's not only uh, sleeping in the house, but also eating in the house, he becomes a member of the Unless any of these people want to be from the Mahadri. But uh, again, according to the Mahabir, only one person lights per family. So what does it mean family members? If you don't look at the birth certificate, you don't look at the passport. Whoever is, the, all the people that are eating at that table in that house are called the Bnei Bayes of the house. So therefore they're not Mechuyiv to light and they're not Mechuyiv Lishtat to the Priti. But if they want, they can do it. Okay. Beis, Emad Likan Laba Beis. He says the whole issue of Achsanoi is if they're not madlik lo bebeisa. What does it mean madlik lo bebeisa? If he has a wife that's madlik bebeisa, he would say they chevas madlik also. Avshu b'makam rochik bebeisa. Vein sar shuv lishtata v'fil v'priti. As the Gemara says, as the Gemara says, the story of Reb Page Kufmen Vav. This book is turn the page. Well, um, I'm starting at Sifkotan base. If his wife is lying for him, that's it. That's what the Gemara says. That Abzeda said that now that my wife is lying for me, I'm married, I don't have to be Mishtat of a Priti. If he knows for sure his wife let him any idea. If he doesn't know, yes, um, the Madlak Mavorek has to be Madlak Mavorek. It's a pair of why the Taz would hold that way. Um, because most, mo, and, and, and uh, because the uh, Tumas Adesh and most of the can say there's a Chazaka that a woman doing the right, we rely on, the person's allowed to we want, we rely on his wife, even for Isakotas. He's relying on his wife on the most serious issues. On his accordance, he's relying on his wife that she's telling him the truth. Mm-hmm. So, and, and even if he didn't ask her, or whatever, if it's not that you may vesta, you always trust that she did whatever she needed to do even without asking her. Unless, you know, she told me, then you have to ask her. But otherwise, you, re- you assume everything if she's doing what she needs to do. So why why should you say, by Hanukkah Menorah, it's different. It's, it's a really pella, why did Asha would hold that way? The truth is in the in the in the Sharatsi and Sivdalat, he doesn't bring it. Tumas Adeshan, Mashma, Safila in Yadez of Bibir Rakshu Yadev Bishta Shedaz Jinza Shishit Sirik Vadal Gibesa. The Shamitsa Matel Samish Matakabai, Safila in many Adas and Mabesa Yadam Jinza. Why because the woman usually doesn't like, that's why. That's why I'm not sure. Somebody's not accustomed to lying. Uh-huh. 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 I hear Her husband's not home, so the, the, okay. the, she should know. She's saying, Yeah, because it's not a custom. It's not muta A person does their custom. Okay, nice, very nice. Okay. I hear. Um, so he says that the Rashal says that if he knows for sure his wife looks good, but if he doesn't know, he has to light. Okay, the person didn't know if they lit for him. He didn't know. But he came home, he, they already lit. So because he didn't know. It's here, it's exactly. It goes back. So I don't know. The truth is, if you learn the Taz himself, I'm not sure that's what the Taz meant, but Ladina. It says, uh, whatever, Ladina, this is probably what he means. That the bottom line is, 
he, if, if, according to the Rashal, if you if you if you didn't tell your wife, please light the candles. She's she she's she's not lighting. So you're in your mind already. I'm lighting tonight. So let's goes back to the alumnus of Kabbana So right. you already had in mind. I'm lighting myself. I, you had in mind. You're lighting yourself. So you already in your mind had in mind that whatever whatever anyone was doing, I'm not being yoytz about that. I mean, you could argue and you could say I I didn't have anything in mind. Whatever, if their life is good, I'm nishnish. But that's that's anyway. That's what the uh, Mishnah was saying, and I'm not sure that's really what the Taz is saying. But that's what Mishnah was saying. Again, I'm not sure that's really what the Magen Avraham said. We'll have time next week. We'll be mine in this. So I'm, I'm just leaving it a little loose. This thing, I mean, although it's to me, this whole din is a little bit of a pella because you should rely on your wife. I mean, Monoshek, it's not so negative because to us, we're going to say later in the simon that if a person, if a person had kavana fochis, so anyway. Okay, we'll leave this aside a little bit. The violin. Lots of pruta. If you're in a, if you're, or if you're in a guest house, you have to give a pruta to join in the, the, the for the for the money of the of the oil. sif cotton gimel. Let me make sure you got you got the right. Uh, you got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. You got. You got. You got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. That he doesn't have to give a, a half the expenses. One pruta is a good. There's a makna chet b'shemet. 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 There's a makna I'm giving it to you as a maton. It's also good. If he wants to light his own candle, and he has, as we'll say later. Um, as we'll say later. This is, but, but it's interesting. If you want to look in the Sharet in a in the second column, in the in the second line, it's if cotton ches. Uh-huh. So let me break it down. It's funny. One sheet that says that you have to give him a cup, you have to give him a pruter, but he doesn't have to add more shaman. He can make money. He, if, if the shaman, if the shaman costs two prutas and he has ten orchim, each one gives him a pruter, so he made a profit of eight prutas. He can even make a profit. That's the, the, the that's what the prichodish holds. The other ones hold no. You, you you you. What do you mean? You you can't. You it's a of a mutal amoyne. You have to spend if 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 a, if a half hour oil is cost uh, five prutas, you got to spend five prutas. Now, every person I gave you, you have to add. And how much you have to add? One sheet that says, well, you add one or two drops of oil. Other other ones, they do the same thing. People put it in, they put it in a quarter, they pick up the coin. Mm-hmm. Uh, Most people do it. Here. Okay. So you should pay the full price. <laughs> so uh, yeah, So I, I'll tell you what. So what's the, the Nekudus of is based on what we discussed yesterday. I think the Pri Chodosh was, didn't understand. What do you mean? Yeah, you're supposed to have 30 minutes of oil. Now we're going to add oil? If you have, if the Balabas is going to put 25 minutes of oil, he didn't do the mitzvah. You have 30 minutes of oil. Now you're going to add more oil. What, what are you doing? You're, you're wasting your time. The mitzvah is It's supposed to be a half hour of oil. 25 minutes is too little. 35 minutes is too much. It's not the mitzvah. The Bach, we, we, when we started the sugya, the Bach held that a person put a lot of oil. And he had in mind that this is, I wanted the the Benoida to go for eight hours. That's all eight hours is 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 shall mitzvah. It's an afkamina to what we learn at the end of Simon. At the end of Hanukkah, most of the place can hold that if you have extra oil and wicks, if if they at least every night you had a half hour burning, you could throw them in the garbage. There's no kedushin kedusha. Whole shail of this kedusha and kedusha is if it didn't burn for a full half hour, but if it if it burnt every night for a half hour, whatever is left after that is is less dim, less dying. That there's no kedusha on it, you can throw in the garbage. Bach says, oh, it puts up an argument. 
You had in mind, you were maktish. You, you will sanctify this oil. You said, I like, today oil is not that expensive. No. So I, I got, I get, I get from, uh, I got years ago. They don't even have such big cu cups. Oil, I put these, uh, these cups in the glass cups. I got these super duper big cups and I put enough oil. Burns that whole night. It burns all night. Next morning, kids love it. They come down. Tati's a, a miracle. A minute is delighting. So, uh, so, so, uh, so the so the the, the 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 oil is enough for for fifteen hours sixteen hours I get a big fat chamish machay it's good so uh, so so the bach holds that this is all dedicated for the mitzvah so the truth is if you learn that way so then okay listen the balabas is putting oil for a half hour now everyone that you have to add how much you have to add so three shittas with it he only brings two but this them is three one is a minute or two. The other one is no. Everyone has to add oil for a half hour. So if you have ten guests in your house, then you need to have five and a half hours. It has to burn for five and a half hours. And there's a third sheet doesn't even bring that's even more, based on all the money they gave you. You can't make any money here. There's no making money on Hanukkah candle. Right in the same time, people write an oil in the same time. How do you make time limits? You can write a whole same time. Yeah, here it's. It's similar machlekes. <laughs> similar machlekes, very good. They say no, that whatever money he got. So if he has now money for oil to burn for eighteen hours, he's got to put in eighteen hours of oil. But okay, these are all three shit. These are all within the mahalach that that you could sanctify the oil that's past a half hour. But if you hold that once it's past half hour, this oil is nothing. It's not koydish. It's like a birthday candle is burning. It's a birthday candle. It's not a Hanukkah candle. Now, after half an hour, again, you can sing happy birthday now. It's not a Hanukkah candle anymore. It's a birthday candle. Okay, so what are you going to keep Mishtat to be pretty for, 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 for a birthday candle? doesn't make sense. So you have to say Mishtat to be pretty means that you're just adding a little money to the Balabayas so the Balabas can even make some money on the, on the deal. Yeah, makes a Kenyan. Ah, yeah, so he makes a Shtibu Kenyan. But the other opinion says no. No, if the if the ad, you can have more kedusha. Okay, we'll, we'll stop at this. It's a very gishmaki shit to say that you could add, that you could add so many hours and hours and hours and hours, and it's all still the kedusha the manoid. So, uh, so, so, so when a person has a lot of orchim, you see the gavalt that if he has a lot of orchim, so. Uh, so if he was just himself, he would have the Mechanic and Menorah for a half hour. Now that he has 10 Orchim, so he has the Menorah lighting for five and a half hours. What a beautiful thing. It's good to have Orchim. You buy the cups. Huh? You buy the cups. You have to buy the cups now. Yeah. Yeah, but he, uh, you see, in the Mishnah Buddha does bring it. Yeah. He says, uh, yeah. in the Tzaritzin, he says, half hour Shemin. So, whatever. I'm just saying that it's totally. But uh, even though the, everyone is doing the back, they say, ah, after half hour, it's nothing. But when it comes to Shat of a a lot of people jump on the bad wagon and say, oh, come on. If they had money, come on, show me, show me the. We gave you extra money, show me the extra oil. Come on. Just a half hour, let's see. Two hours, three hours, four hours. Okay. You see, when you have a lot of orchid, you have much more Hanukkah. Welcome to you. We almost yeah, we got him in. We got him in. Yeah. yeah.